Hi, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this session, we will learn about the pen tool. The pen tool helps us creating parts and these parts can further turn into selections and become a very powerful feature of Photoshop. So let's start and understand this tool better. The pen tool is the most advanced and precise way to make selections in pen tool. It takes a little longer than usual but it's very accurate. The shortcut, the hot key is P so when you press P on your keyboard the pen tool is activated. We can actually by clicking create anchor point and all the connection of all these anchor points becomes our path. A path is created and stored as the work path. The path panel is very close to our layer panel. When you click that, you will be able to see that the path that was created using the pen tool. And when you right click on your path, you create a selection. The pen tool is basically when you started using the pen tool around an image, you basically create points. So you keep clicking around your image or your subject to create a path. Now, the points that you have made can be changed by clicking on them with control or command pressed. Also, for making curves, you can drag these anchor points. For making curves to straight lines, you can press Alt and drag. Also, you can delete an anchor point by pressing delete or right click the delete anchor. The pen tool has the following options. The free form pen tool, that means you can have a free form selection. You can also have the option of make selection. So any path, like I just said, can be converted to selection. You can feather the radius. That means you want hard edges or soft edges around your selection. You can fill that path. You can have stroke the outline around that path. You can again convert into free transform path and you can also define this custom path which will remain with you. So let's go forward. Whatever till now I explained will be very clear when we start working with it. So let's dive into Photoshop and learn how these things work. Let's learn how to use pen tool in Photoshop. So this is my blank document and I'm going to create a path using the pen tool. Pen tool can be initiated by clicking P on your keypad or coming here and choosing the pen tool. The pen tool will help us create any shape we want. So let me just start and create. So I'm just clicking anywhere in my document and a subsequent line is created along. So I'm just clicking on my mouse on my keypad pad and this is the selection I want. I can go ahead create another path like this. So I'm doing nothing, just clicking around and my path is created. I can also have a precise triangle if I wish to and I can connect it back by clicking at the end. So this is my, again, my triangle. I can have a perfect square. I can have any shape I want. So if you look here, I can also make my straight line into a curved line. What I'm doing is by Keeping my point clicked, I am moving, I am surfing around my keypad. You can also do with your mouse. So you just click for, let me show it again. To have a curve, I click on a point. Okay, this is my previous selection. So let me take another selection. I click here. So I have to, I have to finish my collection. So another thing you need to finish. Now this is my finished selection. Let me take another document and create a new selection. So I'm going to click another, take another document and create another selection. So this is my page and I'm showing you. So this was my straight line selections and I can go back and just close them having just a precise line. I'm going another path, creating another path which gives me a curve. So I click here and once I click here, I'm not leaving it and I am just, if I go down, this is my curve. I go up, this is my curve. I can leave it and I have this curve. I can also change, click here, change anchor points. If you want to change an anchor point, you just press the controller command and you can bring it anywhere. So I can bring it back. I don't want this shape. So 
I have this shape. I can also change by pressing here. I can bring the curve in between. So I can add another point, anchor point, and change the curve if I want. And if not, I'm not liking this, I can also click control and again take it upwards and have the shape I want. So it's very easy. You can have an upward facing shape or a below shape facing shape. So pen tool basically helps us create the shapes we want and it's the most accurate when it comes to selection. Whatever I've drawn is actually being created in my work path. So in my work panel, this path is selected. I can also create change a path to a selection. So I can click on left and do make selection and my path will become a selection. I can change the feather radius. Feather radius is nothing but it depends. If you want hard edges, you have lower feather radius. If you want your selection to be, you know, not very precise, soft, then you can go for a higher feather radius. So I'm going to go with two and this is my selection. So I can have my custom shaped selection using the pen tool. Now let's work on an image and just make a selection. So this is my subject in an image and I'm going to make a selection out of it. So using any selection, maybe I will not have that precise selection rather than using the pen tool. So let me start. I start from here. Also, when you're doing with a selection, always zoom in your picture, zoom out. So zoom out will actually help you getting more. So I've just done add, I've just done control plus plus so that I have more zoomed in selection and I can actually I'm using my hand tool here to move it and I use my zoom tool here to zoom it so when I had my zoom tool I was doing control plus plus I'm gonna do a little that's, that's it I need this much and then to move it around I can place it here on the hand tool and just drag my object the way I want so I'm not gonna do the P the pen tool and start selecting so, so I come here so, and now I want to turn, so I'm going to turn, I'm going to hold, I'm holding my pen tool, I'm not leaving. Again, I want my edge, I hit edge because I want to just go up on my zoom. Again, P to have again my pen tool. So pen tool is just about selection, so I'm going to, let's start. So as I told you, it's all about clicking around, so I'm just clicking around, you can be as precise as you want. Now I have a deviation here, so I'm going to keep my mouse turned so that I can rotate my anchor point. And again, I can rotate my point to point. If I don't like anything, I can always click my control. By keeping a click control, I can just keep change this anchor point. I can in between change this direction and I can make it the way I want. So see, by clicking control, just pressing my control or command, I am doing the way I want. So please do not think that you've spoiled your selection. You can go ahead and change anything you want. So I'm just keeping my control command pressed and I am rotating my anchor points. I am rotating my parts the way I want. And now they're just simple straight selection. So I am going quick and I'm just flicking around. So I have to go up as so. I don't want it here, so I'm going to do control and control, double click this and bring it here. Again, I don't like this, so I can double click here and bring it here. So, okay, so again, I'm going to press and control and I want to I wanna bring this back here. I'm going to click and control, bring this anchor point back here and start my work again. So pressing control will really make you do everything. You can keep pressing control and bring, move your anchor points, move your path, move your curves the way you want. So right now I want to select this image so that I can put it on a blank image and use the selection. I'm going to quickly show you how again I can see the little deviation so I'm going to keep my mouse pressed and again with my control pressed, I'm going to change it. So I'm going quick right now. Again, I'm going to go down and I'm going to click here. Again, a little deviation is there. So I'm going to click my mouse and so I'm keeping my mouse clicked and I'm going to changing. So it's, it's a quick selection. I can go ahead and change my selection later by pressing on control and bringing it the way I want. 
So I need to be right on the point to move just the point. Otherwise, I actually move my entire selection. So I can go here and do a right click and do make selection. So I have my selection and I can go to the layer panel. This is my work part where I have my selection. Let me go back to my layer panel and I want to convert this into a selection. I'm going to do control J or command J. I have this on a different layer. So I have the selection on a different layer. I'm going to hide the background and this is what I get. So I have this selection and I can use this image wherever I want. And you can see the images are not that hard because I did the feathering. So let me do a control minus minus and see this is what we have. So with pen tool is pretty simple how to create your own selections. You can be as precise if you go slow. You can change your anchor points. You can change your parts by pressing in control and changing your variations. Thank you for listening and learning pen tool with us.